from here. We can't figure out which car we're in or which seats we're in, so we're gonna have to ask somebody. <laughs> it was right there in little bitty letters. Looks like us. This water we bought, but these were here. We got the swag bag. Yo, the swag bag. We got three of these because three people are supposed to be able to fit in here. That's a tight fit. All right, we got slippers. Oh, a washcloth. It's actually a nice thick one. More water, an eye mask. I still use the one from the plane. It was really nice. Earplugs, chocolate covered berries, and trail mix. Those are gonna be Chris's. And a pen, and a nice bag that carry it all in. Right. Right at the end of the hall, nice little bathroom. Little, clean, functional. I think I could ask for a bathroom. And on this side, there's a shower. Small little bathroom, but bigger than the other one. Can't be having a nice shower on a train. Next stop, Italy. We have our bunk beds, one, two, and three. This is a cozy little cabin. We have our own table that folds up and our own private sink. Storage across the top. And if you're only sleeping two like we are in the three, you've got an extra bunk for storage as well if, if you need all that storage. It's actually really spacious. I would definitely do this again. Right by the main door, 230 outlet. There's another 230 outlet inside the cabinet. Comes with hangers to hang your suits or coats in our case. Here's a little door in there to connect cabins with the next one, but... Table guy! We don't know those people. We don't want to connect cabins. And breakfast is included. We get to pick what we want. Get your six things off the list. But well, we all know coffee's going to be one of those things. How lucky the screaming babies in the cabin right next to us. These are really so nice. It's chilly out there in Salzburg. Breakfast is served. Ooh, a really hot cup of coffee. Coffee. Yeah. We'll try this again with the light from the window. Cherry yogurt, all sorts of different fruits, yogurt, lots of bread. That's a little much for one person. But then I have ham and turkey and gouda cheese. As you just said, that's too much bread. That's true. I must be touched in the head. And then coffee. I like it. That's actually good coffee. It's strong, not bad. Pulling into Rome shortly. So what do you think of the night jet from Munich to Rome? It's very comfortable. The people are really nice. The beds, uh, I'm six foot one. I think that's 185 centimeters, but I can stretch out. That was really nice. And the mattresses were comfortable. Yeah, they were. More comfortable than some other trains we've been on. The bathrooms were... There was the camera. The bathrooms, um, ones, even I had a hard time getting it's into it. It's pretty tiny. But the one with the shower is huge and it was really nice. Walls are paper thin. There's a baby next door. You probably hear him on the microphone right now. But they do provide earplugs in the amenity skin. Yeah. Ooh, going through a tunnel. <laughs> oh, we had a full moon last night. And holy cow, was it beautiful over the Alps. So if you can schedule your night jet for the full moon, <laughs> highly recommend it. We just got lucky. Yeah. Our overnight rail journey across the Alps was surreal. Unfortunately, none of my video turned out. There was a full moon and a partly cloudy sky, so the view out the window varied from a well-lit winter wonderland to pitch black with only the flickering blue light from the train's electrical system reflecting out across the snow. I just sat there for hours staring out the window. This was definitely one of my favorite experiences ever on a train. We are going to uh, get the rest of our stuff tidied up here and head out to our apartment in Rome. So when next we see you, well, it's not an apartment. We rented a house. We did. It's a tiny little house though. I think I'm gonna have to duck. Keep drinking this coffee. Make <laughs> the, the thumbs, thumbs up, up and subscribe. subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>